Hey guys, Jeremy from Mastercaster here today. Today I'm going to have a cooking episode on the tow tug I caught on Monday while deep sea fishing. So um, I'll show you guys how to prepare it, I'll show you how to cook it, I'll show you all the seasonings and stuff I'm using. Alright guys, this is the main setup I have for all this stuff. Um, so what I'm using here is I got some olive oil. Um, I got some olive oil cooking spray for the pan. I got some Goya Adobo all-purpose seasoning. So I'm definitely using that. I got some Italian seasoning. got some roasted garlic powder. Most importantly, paprika, got some salt and pepper, got a knife, got some butter, some lemons, importantly, lemons are the most important thing here besides paprika, um, some bags because I'm going to be cutting the filet into two pieces, and just some other stuff. And uh, there's the filet. Oh, what the hell? I was like, right, kind of. So, i you guys, I'm going to dry it out, and um, I'm going to cut it in two halves, and uh, we're going to have a taste test today, Billy right here. So, um, later on in the video, we'll be eating. You guys didn't see that. Alright guys, these are the toe tog steak slash fillets. This um, actually came from one big toe tog fillet from one side of the fish. So um, I'll be putting this into these marinade bags. I'll be trying two types. I'll be trying some garlic, butter, lemon, pepper. And I'll be trying the paprika um, chili powder style of fillet. So. Alright guys, so for this part of the video, I'm going to show you guys um, how to marinate it and exactly how I'm going to do it. I don't know how well this is going to turn out um, because this is my first... Well, it's sort of like a to-go thing, so um, I'm going to show you guys the exact amounts of everything I'm putting in there. So if this video does work out, then you guys know exactly how much to use. And um, let's do it. Alright, so but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this um, olive oil and I'm going to put about, fill it up to about two inches. No, maybe less than that, maybe about an inch. This stuff's expensive, so. Alright, that should be good. Is it? Um, I could go a little bit more. So, that's exactly how much I put in. That's actually about an inch and a half, um, if not an inch and a quarter. So, the next thing I'm going to do is, um, let me set this down. I'm going to get out my Goya all purpose seasonings. This has got like a. Uh, um, yeah, whatever, salt, garlic, stuff like that, and I'm just going to fill this with it. That should be good. I put in about three teaspoons, three teaspoons of it, and um, make sure it's nice and cloudy um, with the garlic seasoning. And um, the next thing I do is I take the pepper, I just put a little bit of pepper in there, so I put about... Um, a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper in here. I just shake it around. And I take just one thing of pepper or <laughs> salt, and then um, I take the lemon. Give two pretty hard squeezes. So probably about um, half a teaspoon of lemon juice, and um, that's good. That's good for this evening. So there it is, right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take. Um, how should I do this? I'm going to take this filet and one steak and put it in here. And then we'll let this sit for about um, 15 minutes so the um, seasoning gets right in the meat and it soaks in pretty nice. Alright guys, for the next filet, this dude right here, I'm going to be doing the same thing with the marinade style, but I'm going to be using paprika and Italian seasoning. So. I'm going to start out by putting some more oil in there. We're not going to use as much because there's not two in there. So I'm going to fill an inch this time, maybe half an inch. We'll see. Yeah, that's good. That's about, that's a little more than a thought, but that's about an inch. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the pepper. Um, throw about, again, a fourth of a teaspoon in there. In there. All around. This one's gonna be like the spicy one, so this one's gonna be real nice. Get some paprika. And then for the paprika, I'm gonna put like a whole teaspoon in there. Maybe, um. Let's see. see how much that is. If not, I'll more. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna add just a tad bit more. There you go. Alright, so yeah, that was about a teaspoon, maybe half. Yeah, probably half a teaspoon. 
And then for the last, I'm gonna add the Italian, Italian seasoning in here. Um, I'm gonna put about a fourth of a teaspoon in here as well. All right guys, that's good. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna add some lemon. Let's try this with some lemon. Just one squeeze in there. So I'm gonna get to see. No, it's good. So, this is the end result right here. I'm gonna be putting the filet in here. All right guys, for the final filet, which I cut into two pieces, I'm gonna be doing a dry seasoning. So I'm gonna take all these seasonings and put into this bowl and mix it around and then use these two fillets to just like sort of dry them, I guess. All right guys, so I'm gonna start by putting some uh, pepper in the bowl. I'm just gonna put a bunch in there, so. And then I'm gonna go to the Italian seasoning. And um, I'm putting like an even amount of everything so there's like an even even taste. So got that in there. Just put a splash of chili powder. And then a pinch of salt and pepper. I'm gonna put a lot more than this and other things. This paprika is great. I'm gonna take this rubber scraper and I'm just gonna sort of mix the seasoning around, make sure everything's evenly dispersed. So I'm gonna use this for the first fillet and then you guys have the idea, so I'll just do it for one. So I'm gonna take this first fillet, I'm just gonna sort of put it in here and then roll it around. Ooh, that looks delicious actually. Whoa. All right guys, so that's what the first fillet looks like. Looks really nice. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna take the second one and I'm gonna put it in here also. And there is the second one. Looks perfect. All right guys, so I just got done seasoning everything and uh, marinating it and it's in the pan and ready to go. So I'm gonna show you guys that when it goes in. Alright guys, we got all the fish marinated, it looks absolutely delicious. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting this in the oven. And um, we're, it's, we preheated at 400 degrees, so that's key. And um, we're going to cook it for about 15 minutes and see how it is after that. Alright, let's get cooking. Alright guys, the fish is done, we're ready to get eating. So, what we're going to start with is we're going to start with the paprika. The fi um, yeah, the paprika fish. So I'm going to grab oh, these. But it's going to grab these. Alright, cool. It's going to be a little bit hot, but we're going to deal with it. Did you take the honors? Take the first bite? Alright, let's get the first bite. That's great. That's very good. Very good. Alright, so I'm going to take a test, and we're, we're not going to show you guys eating us the whole thing, because then it'd be like a 20 minute video, but um, <laughs> we'll, let me take a bite of this. Yeah, that's amazing. Steam. I definitely recommend that recipe. Definitely. That's good. That's that's good. There's the perfect amount of spice. It's, it's just great. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the, um, and I promise you, we're going to eat all of this. This is really good. Really so, taste, taste the chili pepper too. Oh chili yeah, I can, I can taste in this. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, so we're each gonna have a piece of um the the, the what is this again? This was the um, um this is the marinated paprika. the marinated paprika. So go go ahead, take again, take the first bite. That tastes more fishy. This tastes more fishy, but yeah, let's see. it's definitely if you want like flaky flip flaky white fish. Then that's the way you go. That's nice. I do agree. It's a lot lighter. It's a lot lighter. It's a lot lighter, it's more flaky, and it tastes more fishy. I'm really surprised about how good this is. Um I might have to go to dog fishing more. <laughs> Alright, last one. We are going to try the Totog fillets that was marinated with garlic, pepper, stuff like that. So we're gonna try that one. Again, go ahead and take the first bite. <laughs> Is 
That one really good too? Yeah. I mean, definitely taste the garlic in that one as well. This makes it perfect. The Italian seasoning in that. That, that is also very delicious. The Italian seasoning makes it perfect. So Billy, which one do you think you, you like the best? Because I'm more of like a spicy type guy. I think the blackened um, paprika toto would be the best in my opinion. Because I like spicy food and I like that little spice in your tongue. But that's just me. Alright, so for me, again, I, I loved the um, blackened paprika filet. Um, it was really good. And the next best one, I like the garlic one. So the garlic one that was in the marinade. And last of all, unfortunately, was the paprika marinade. Um, it didn't have a lot of flavor, but it was still very good. All these flavors are really good. Yeah, definitely. So, highly good. recommend recommend all of, all of them to you guys. All right, guys. So get out to talk fishing. So this is gonna be really good. All right. So um, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And the most important thing is, if we can get 20 likes on this video, I'll continue the catching cook series, and um, I'll show you guys how to do that. See you guys later. Yeah. That's perfect, dude. Oh, that garlic. That's perfect. I know, right? It's great. I'll just more of that.